If you watch Netflix, then you know all about the Tiger King. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic is celebrating a big win from federal prison. His murder for hire sentence has been overturned, but that doesn't mean he's getting out of prison anytime soon. Back in 2019, the infamous showman from the Winniewood Exotic Animal Park was convicted on two counts of murder for hire involving plots against fellow big cat handler Carol Baskin. He was also found guilty on 17 counts involving wrongdoing with his animals. In 2020, a federal judge then handed down a 22-year sentence for his crimes. When Carol Baskin took over the ownership of GW Zoo, formerly owned by the Tiger King Joe Exotic. The property is sat abandoned with no chance of it ever to be a zoo again. There are many conspiracy theories of Carol and Joe themselves involving murder. But today, we're going to take a look inside the Tiger King's abandoned home and zoo. I am never going to financially recover from this. What is up everybody? It is Big Banks. We are back again for another video. Today we are at a very special location. We are at Joe Exotic's Zoo. And right now, we are in Joe Exotic's house right now. So, you guys know the whole story of Joe Exotic, the Tiger King. He's in prison right now in North Carolina. Um, he was arrested on a, a murder for hire charge. and. Is currently serving, I believe, 22 years. He was in the Grady County Jail, but now he's back in North Carolina where uh, he has, I believe he's battling cancer. But his whole property is abandoned. Um, it's owned by Carol Baskin. And um, this place has just kind of gone downhill. But the whole thing is here, all the tiger enclosures, Joe's home, trailers, everything like that. So we're gonna walk you through this property and I hope you guys enjoy, so. I'm going to take you through Joe's house real quick. It is very kind of trashed, but we're going to go through it real quick and then we're going to show you the whole zoo. So let's get right into this video. All right. So when you first walk into Joe's house here, I mean, it's pretty beat up. It looks like vandals have come in here and just went through the whole place, did their work. But it looks like most of this stuff is from... Uh, when they filmed. I mean, this looks like something that would have been in the, in the film. I gotta go back and watch it. But, I mean, I can't believe this is Joe's house. It's incredibly destroyed. I mean, there's, there's stuff everywhere in here regarding big cats. Even Joe's personal items. Things like that. I mean, like, this is from one of his drawers. Pins, household items. Random stuff that used to be owned by him himself. You got insulation laying everywhere. Now, I wonder if there's a Seth Wadley hat anywhere, but there's a Lowe's Pro Service in here. But I want to get a look at some of Joe's stuff. I mean, this is wild. This is Joe's kitchen in here, but this insulation is kind of just stacked up everywhere, especially in the kitchen. Look at that. Can't even go in here. But all the plates and stuff are still here. I mean, everything is still left in Joe's house. We have some kind of glass case here for some reason. Not sure. We got a hallway, we got a bathroom right here to the left. Clothes everywhere. And this is one bedroom. Look at this shirt. Justice for the cats. 
Signed by Joe Exotic himself right there. That's pretty crazy. And all these clothes in here. I used to belong to Joe. Vandals have come through and completely wrecked this house. Those boots are probably Joe's over there. Then we come back into this like den area and it's got checker floors, kind of empty, but I mean, hey, this was definitely for their entertainment down here. Now guys, the house is trashed as you can tell. So we're not gonna stay in here much longer. We're gonna kind of get out of here and go see the rest of the actual park because this place is massive. This house is very far gone now and I don't think there's any saving it without completely tearing it down. What'd you find? Uh, you know when they sold dog treats? Because this was actually on the show because they actually said they were starting to sell dog treats to expand oh. their gift shop. That's cool. That's sweet. But yeah, the vandals have came through this place hardcore. Hmm. I don't even know what this room is. My bedroom. Yeah, there's a bed lane right there. You got that it looks, right. It looks like a damn bomb went off inside. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Dude, the water damage is crazy in here. I mean. Oh, yeah. But this is Joe's house, everyone. It's a freaking radiator on the roof. <laughs> Maybe that was like that before all this. Maybe. We're going to walk around now, the entire park, and we're going to see what's left here. We're going to see some Carol Baskins uh, riding uh, along the way, because there's quite a bit of it here from what we've seen so far. So, uh, yeah, let's see what's here. Okay, first of all. What is this? Did you ever lock your car? Yeah. This is actually fairly clean. Oh, here, this is where they kept the food. It is. Kangaroo food, right. camel treats. So this was the, that fly tra the fly trap. <laughs> Somebody gets their money worth off of this. Wow. But dude, this is where they kept all the food for the animals. Yeah. Oh wow. Dude, this is where they kept like monkeys and stuff. The monkeys? I think. Because there's like Yeah, there's a little So this is where they kept monkeys and stuff. That's pretty, pretty crazy. Wow. Still the toys in here too. Yeah. That's crazy. A monkey would sleep in there. So many cages. Dude, these go outside of where the monkey cages are. So I wonder if they had access. From the inside, out yeah. here. Yeah, look. Yeah, they had some access to come outside to get air. But that's, they would go back inside. It could have been for like lemurs too or anything like that. All that stuff, they had so many different animals. And then there's a big cage right next to it. I think that was for the birds. I don't know. Those there for like... Uh, yeah, this is like for a big monkey. Like a one of those really long-tailed ones. I forget what they're called, but Spider yeah, monkey maybe? yeah, it's one of those. That's just a just a maybe. larger monkey, you know, one that goes Look, climbs up in. a lot. I don't want to go all the way in this hole after I feel like there's snakes. And but yeah, there's rope and stuff. Pretty, Pretty sweet. Able to jump from all over the place. 
Like even this is kind of like got a big piece of wood in it. Just chilling in there. And then this cage is everywhere. You ain't basking. That's what it says. You ain't basking. <laughs> we have so much to see too. We have this building here. Some graffiti. If Carol killed her husband, clap your hands. Wow. You gonna clap your hands? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no smoking. You really think Joe called that? No. <laughs> Probably not. Definitely not. I like this. Storage room. Something right here. Clean it. You ain't going home, buddy. So he said that these, this plywood isn't like strong enough for big cats. It's definitely not. Yeah. I don't know. Not, I feel like the lawn ones and stuff would have went in here. Maybe. I definitely feel like they wouldn't have stuck tigers out here. And there's a freezer in this one. See that? Yeah. Maybe that's, that's weird. where they kept the, the meats and stuff they would serve the cats. That could be true. Yeah. That's my guess. But some animals went in here. And look, there's even the, when you open it up for them to go to the, the next one. Oh, um, lift that up. I definitely feel like those long ones are still. I don't know, it's pretty low. I feel like a cat could have been in here. Kangaroos? Oh, cat. A long one's not going to go down that low. Hey, yeah, maybe you're right. I think this is where something like a llama would be. Uh, yeah, stick their heads over and see yeah. friends. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> As it's a cold, cold day out here, starting off the new year with a bang though. I mean, I'm over by some more, I'm over by some more things over here. Got more cages for tigers. This is definitely where the tigers would have been at. Like, look at that. Tiger would have been in there, or one of the one of the big cats. There's a bunch of them over here. See one over here that gets you kind of access to a little pond right there. We'll go check out here in a minute, guys. If you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Going on, making 2022 one of the biggest years yet, if not the biggest year yet for this exploring channel. Starting off with a bang, like I said. So let's keep walking through Joe Exotics Park and. This is gonna be awesome. So back here we got more tiger cages. These actually, actually, yeah, these are monkey cages. I'm not thinking tires are too up high for a cat. <laughs> I mean, although they can jump pretty high up. They can. That is true. Look at that though. Oh, you can go in. That is stiff, like, if I get on that, that's gonna break. <laughs> for a fact. Well, bro, it's for little monkeys, you know? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's true. Pretty cool displays, I mean, or, it looks like they had a, you know, some kind of heater team system on this one. Yeah, I think when, uh, during the winter, they would go in there. Probably wouldn't come out much. No. Especially if it's weather like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, these are definitely cat cages. Yeah. This is a feeding portal. So they Probably a smaller cat. Yeah, they wouldn't take her fingers off here. Yeah. There's no way of them escaping. Definitely. I'm thinking maybe like a like a leopard or something would be in here. The smaller what? cats. Oh yeah. So guys, I don't know how many of you watched the series on Netflix, but part two came out not too long ago and went more into detail about everything and it shows a lot of the zoo so you're gonna see a lot from uh, from the show on this explore but this thing goes way back here like we're still walking over i'm over by this little pond area right now and there's more like cages back here for various types of animals i'm not even going to try to guess what animals were in there um because <laughs> you never know what could be in there what could have been 
Some of them you can tell it was for a cat, but you know, I don't want to be saying the wrong things. My goodness, this goes far back here. They're all numbered too, so this one's 84. One of them back there was 74. But these are much larger, so I'm thinking these were bigger animals. But like I said, I'm not going to say what kind because I'm not too sure. He had so many, so many tigers, so many big cats that most of these are more than likely for a big cat. I can't remember the exact number. How many cats did he actually have? Do you remember? It was triple digits for sure. It was a lot. And it even goes way back there. Yeah, like Adrian's saying over there, this doesn't look very safe to have this gate that high next to this gate with a big cat in it. I mean, you're basically asking to get pissed on. Huh? These cats, you know, big cats, they piss, like oh, yeah. they spray on you. And... That's what I was kind of explaining earlier, because there's your primary safety gate, but it's only like a foot tall. <laughs> you have, Compared to that. You could literally stick your finger there and <laughs> it wouldn't be good. Yeah, for sure. This goes so far back. And see, these are for smaller animals. One thing uh, my grandpa told me about this place is my grandpa's best friend, who has uh, sadly passed away now, um, lives not, or he lived not too far from here. And uh, he was actually friends with Joe, which is kind of crazy how Joe kind of just blew up in fame because of this. And uh, now it's, this whole place just sits deserted. Like some of it, you would almost think animals are still here. Yeah, honestly. You know. I mean, it sounds like a it sounds like a zoo, like the, the noises you hear from the zoo. It does. This is pretty much the end of it down here, and the gates are like not here anymore. Like the fences are not here. So, I'm gonna work our way back towards the front. Yeah, we'll do it. All right. So, walking around this side, this cage has some type of concrete. It's like cinder blocks, actually. They don't have names on them for like what they would have been. This one has like some ramps and stuff in it. And a blanket. Look at this bamboo jungle right here you go through. And there's more cages back behind here. Chain link fence is really tall. This must have been his main thing where he filmed the music videos and whatnot. This is the main cage. Yeah. Remember those music videos he made? That one over there. This is where most of the scenes are in, in the show. Wow, dude, that is literally the main scene, like where he did all of his music videos and everything. Yeah. Most of the scenes where he gets attacked by tigers, he's in there. Obviously, a monkey was in here. This is definitely his, yeah. Half of these are just monkey cages. A lot of them are monkeys. You think those monkeys would just, like, you know, like tease the tigers out just directly across from them? <laughs> they probably would. They're literally like a bite sized snack. <laughs> and they would just be dangling here playing while they're on. Yeah. And kind of this little room here. Those are his offices. Yeah, the sketchier it gets when we get over here. Yeah. We got more cages over here. There's lights on inside there. 
That's the gift shop. More cages. I mean, I wonder what. I feel like a tiger would have been in here. Because, I mean, look at that though. That platform is way up there for him. All the way at the top. That's high up there. Here we have some other. Oh, this is the birds. Yeah, this is the bird cage. This is where everybody can go in and feed the birds on like little sticks and stuff. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, huh? You're right. Little parakeets. Parakeets. I think he had parrots too. Like real yeah. parrots. Yeah, he did. Those are his offices, maybe? That's the gift shop, I think. That's the gift shop. Right, we're gonna head to the gift shop. Look at this tree though, dude. I feel like they're not natural. This is a weeping willow, no? Yeah, look at this tree. That's Why crazy. Is it? Why is it here? I, I think that's a transplant. They moved it over here. <laughs> These are definitely This must have been the main office. Yeah, this is like an office. Just a few it's desks in here. Yeah. Not much. There's one of the offices at least. I feel like there's like a way bigger one than this one. But the gift shop is right next door too. Yeah. This is the gift shop. This is the Tiger King gift shop, man. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's all this writing about Carol. Dude. People don't appreciate her very much. What? There's so much writing about Carol. Look at that. <laughs> wow. So many theories on what may have happened or uh, written on this wall. So many. A lot of speculation. A lot of conspiracy theories. I mean, me personally. Also, one thing about the, it's featured in the show, is one of his employees actually got their arm ripped off in one of these cages. We don't know which one for sure, but like, so apparently they stuck their arm in there. We still have more back this way. Oh, okay. yeah. And then I think we have a little more on that side. So we're gonna keep walking around this place. So. More cages. These definitely have cats in them. Look, there's like bowling balls in there to play with. Literally, they're bowling balls. What the heck? I guess for a big tiger, that's a bouncy yeah. ball, you know? There's bowling pins over there. So they bowling must have pens. played with bowling balls and bowling pins. Bowling balls, I mean, what more for a tiger? There's not much. This looks like uh, from a grave. It's a pretty nice bench. This is like from a cemetery though. Yeah, it looks like it. I wonder where that's here. I wonder where Joe gets all this stuff from. Sponsored by Henry for it. You got your answer. <laughs> I guess so. See, there's a tire, there's a tire right there. And more, another bowling ball. There's so many bowling balls here. Sponsored by James and Lizzie Monday. So this is where some of their, their sponsors are going to be through this area. I wonder what was in there to have palm trees. It's like sheet metal palm trees. It or is. Would become dangerous? It would be. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what animal would have been in there. That, you notice how nothing is marked? You know what? You know what I'm thinking? You see how it's sunken in like that and how the palm trees have like a little stilts? I think there was water there. There might have been the gators here because he had gators, remember? Yeah, Before yeah, they yeah, yeah. blew up his, I guess, gator or warehouse. They may have been here. This may have been flooded in. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out soon enough because I have friends that
more cages. You can see obviously there's something dangerous here. Caution, do not reach across the barrier. And that's exactly why that person got their arm ripped off. They reached their hand in there. Oh yeah, somebody did get their hands ripped off. I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I wouldn't think this is it. Probably not right here. Definitely the, one of these Does the guy survive, do you know? Yeah, they, he survived. Oh yeah, he did, huh? You, you kept working for him. Yeah, he's on the show. Yeah, you're right. I don't know which one it might have been. More monkey cages. look and here there's a heater so the monkeys and stuff could come in here and just chill out you're right that there's even there's even peanuts right there from they'll come in here to seek uh, shelter from yeah. the cold weather see obviously like days like today you know yeah obviously he cared about his animals a little I mean, bit <laughs> yeah i mean i know i don't know to what extent but free my boy joe yeah free my boy joe <laughs> what is this We're pretty much back to where we started, too, because right through there is the house. Oh, hers. Oh, okay. Hey. be in here with us because of how popular it is. I think there's more cages in here. I think this was for birds, actually, because there's a bird painted on the front. Is there? Yeah, and there's cages in here. Like a bird bunker? <laughs> yeah. yeah, bird bunker. That's what we're gonna call it. They might have just blown out from these windows, no? Well, they, they might have had something right here at one point, but. This place I, is actually seemingly pretty much untouched. Vandalism. Yeah. And the only vandalism here is towards Carol Baskin. Yeah. Alright, guys, so we just explored the Tiger King's zoo and his house and safe to say it's pretty cool a lot of it's overgrown so there's some parts we can't even really get to right now which is a little weird check out a bend in dallas here and yeah we'll see you next time big bangs out